return for the Cubs is Randy Bush. Because, uh, you know, as players, you obviously want to make it to the Hall of Fame, but most of us don't. But uh, I guess the next best thing to say is credit to the game. He played the game the right way. He's a good man. And uh, it's good to see him back. I'm competing against you again, big boy, so we'll try it again. But uh, he's a great player and a good, great guy. Uh, also, I want to thank Mr. Wills for his speech tonight. Uh, Sandy Alomar came to us late in the year and said uh, all hitting coaches worry about uh, small ball. Uh, and the White Sox have a lot of room for improvement there. He says if there's one person on earth to teach playing, it's Mari Wills. So, Mr. Clay, if you're loaning to us, we'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would make my life a lot easier. Uh, it's great to look out and see our young kids, uh, Phil, Sweeney, Owens, Anderson. Uh, that's why it makes my job a lot of fun. Everybody thinks I teach hitting mechanics, I approach, but really uh, sitting up to here tonight, uh, Field sneezed all over his new bride's foot. So, uh, first day of spring training, we'll have to teach him how uh, to cover his nose when he sneezes. Uh, that's the kind of things I deal with a lot more often than uh, hitting mechanics. But the reason I'm here tonight is to present an award, and I hope I do the two women involved in this justice because they're both great women. Uh, I didn't have the pleasure of knowing Ms. Beck. I did have the honor of meeting Mr. Beck, and I know what he meant to this town and to the fans, or both of them. But I had the distinct pleasure last night of eating dinner with Roland Heeman and his beautiful wife, Margo. And I asked him about Ms. Beck, and first of all, I'm gonna say this, I gotta take a, I gotta take a break. Uh, I've actually had the honor of knowing the greatest, the nicest baseball player possibly in the history of the game, and his name is Jim Tomac. And if any of you ever get a chance to meet this guy, he is the greatest. <laughs> but I've also had the opportunity of spending my adult life around one of the greatest guys on earth, and he's a part of baseball, and his name is Roland Heeman. And he is one of the, the greatest guys in the game. <laughs> be there. Uh, to go back to the award, I asked him about Miss Beck, and he said, Greg, she gave so much, she cared so much for the community of Chicago, the city, the kids, and she was a real humanitarian, and which makes it uh, absolutely right that the woman that receives this award year, this year, we have a lot of the same passions. Christine and O'Reilly and myself came into the White Sox organization at about the same time. We have a passion for our kids. We both have daughters, which we talk about quite often now. Uh, we have a passion for the city of Chicago, but we also have a passion for the, the fans, the people of Chicago. And she is one of the people in the front office. She doesn't get to go run out on the field after the game to high five the players. But I promise you when I get to run out there, that I think about people like Christine, uh, people like Roger Bosser, who used to wet down first base a little heavy because his first baseman didn't have much range. And uh, thank you, Roger. Uh, our, uh, our foul lines tilt to the inside so we can bunt and it stays fair. It's pretty good. But uh, I tell people all the time, I'm, I'm one of the fortunate ones, and I get to be on the front line with the players. I get to be in the dugout. I get like excitement, up the adrenaline. But, Every now and then I walk into the, to the ballpark and I realize that, uh, that I have to uh, go into the cage with A.J. Brzezinski and uh, I start to walk, turn around and go back. But I think about the fact that uh, Christine would go in there and she'd do her job even if she didn't feel good.